Hey, what's up? Darts here. Uh, I just pulled a video. Um, uh, basically, in 2012, I did this video uh, with a friend of mine. We were just mocking the Queen. Um, you know, all the ridiculous things that, you know, the uh, royal family do. And the reason why, we do, reason why we did that is because I don't really like the monarchy. I mean, these two are supposed to, supposed to be um, husband and wife, right? But look at those noses. They're almost identical. Like the flipping, look at you, you know. I mean, yeah. I mean, these people, they're in power, okay? And, you know, they have all the mansions, they have all the money, they have everything they could possibly want, golded, gilded stuff, you know. It, and the reason why they these people exist is for the way they do is because of the every, everything and nothing principle where the people in power masons and so forth they want to keep a spectrum between everything and nothing so in order to have a human uh, you need a slug and a snail uh, without the slugs and snails and other small organisms then the larger organisms and everything in between the more complex organism human and everything in between can't exist so they put that principle into pretty much everything they do and having rich monarchy that everyone worships and wow the monarchy wow oh wow the queen's getting married oh wow i can click so much with the queen oh wow good to, good for her good for her it's her it's her it's her um 70th anniversary you know and on bbc they have like a news story where they have compare the queen with this real life woman, and you know this these couple, real couple, have been married for seventy years. You know, like they're even close to anything like each other. Like they're even close and on the same wavelength whatsoever. No, they're not. You know, these people live like gods among people, gods gods among the sheep. And yeah, okay, I lost just lost three subscribers for my podcast or oh, for that podcast that I uploaded and I pulled you can still listen to it if you want to but uh, I think people are going to misunderstand but I don't like the queen I don't like the monarchy and you know I don't I don't adore the queen someone said to me some woman said to me oh you should respect the queen she's our monarchy she's our monarchy she should respect her she's our queen why should I respect her why should I respect these people who hoard all the gold and hoard all the wealth and Basically, you know, keep the system going, the control system going. You know, the Queen here, part of that 13 blo uh, family bloodline that caused all the evil in the world, okay? She may not be doing stuff now, but her family and her heritage all throughout history have basically been tyranny, you know? You know, it's, it's you know... Despicable things that have done been done by the royal family and their bloodline throughout history. You know they try and put in like a nice, uh, uh, you know, spin to it. You know, oh wow, the queen. But in reality, if you really look at them, I mean, you had Prince Harry walk around in a Nazi uniform. Do you remember that? And everyone seems to forget that. So yeah, unsubscribe then if you don't like me uh, mocking the Queen. I don't like the Queen and you know she symbolises what's wrong with this world. Inherited wealth is a major issue in this world, in my opinion. Bye.